Our Age Design Feature Tractor this week is actually a fleet of tractors, a fleet of John Deere A's that are owned by Carol and L. Etchen of Clear Lake, Iowa. And you've got to explain why you have so many A's in your collection. And that is because they all have significance for you. These were all owned by different people. So the first one in the line, that was a tractor that was run by your wife, right? Elle, when she yeah. was on the farm? Yeah, when she was 10 years old. And that was, the, it's actually marked as a GP. That was kind of one of the first years that they were, our general purpose, wasn't it? Yes. So that tractor was something that was significant. D did that get sold by her father or did he keep it all those years? He kept it, he bought it new. Now, right next to it is a another 19, it's a 1939 John Deere A. Whose tractor was that? That was one of my brother's tractors that he run a fertilizer plant for 30 some years. And that's what they, they had a loader on it and they had studs in the tires, regular studs that they put used to put on cars, tires. And they used that to move the snow and the fertilizer. And uh, when I, when he, uh, the fertilizer plant quit, sold out. He kept the tractor and, and brought it out here and I restored it, me and him and another younger brother. And there wasn't a bolt on there that we didn't have to get red hot. The, just like the wedges on the wheels, we, after we got the bolts out, we still couldn't get the wedges. So it took us probably two days to hacksaw them wedges. Oh my goodness. Oh, are you kidding me? Just for the blade. I suppose because all the fertilizer attracted the sure, rust. Sure, it froze, it froze all the, uh, the wedges right on the axles. So now the third tractor is a 1951, and that's kind of the most special A of all. Why is that? Because that's what I bought new when I started farming with it. Oh my gosh, was that when you were on the farm here on the location? No. That was when you were previously in another Yeah, location. that's when I was milking 50 head of cows and farmer 425 acres of ground. Or oh, you were a busy boy. I yeah. Bought a tractor new, so that's pretty significant. That was kind of special for you, wasn't it? Yeah, that's why I kept it all these years, and I, ha I still got the plow. Oh, do you, it's a, did it run with a, what, a three-bottom plow? Three-bottom. And you farmed with it for how many years? Well, for a long time, probably. Oh, yeah, I farmed here with it. This is all I had when I come here. Now the next A in the line is a 1952 A. Whose tractor was that? That was my twin brother's. Oh, no kidding, another brother. So you had a twin brother that you were both in the service with, you told me. Yes. And that was his tractor. Now was he farming? No, he was farming. And so that was a tractor you wanted to keep in the family. He passed away of cancer in 80, and then uh, he had a sale in uh, my uh, one brother bought the tractor mm -hmm. and uh, bought the tractor and then he had a B and I bought the track B. Now you also have a 1951A right here next to you. Whose tractor was that? Another brother that lived in <laughs> Wisconsin. How many brothers did you have? Four. You had four so you you're up to three A's and then your own A on the thing. So he lived in, was he farming up in Wisconsin? Yeah he was farming in Wisconsin. No kidding. So when that came up for sale, you thought you better no, go get No, he that. brought it down. Oh, did he really? He moved down here. He, his uh, d wife owned the farm down by Belmont. Oh. So he moved down here. No kidding. Now, the other one, a 1949A. Whose tractor was that? Don't uh, tell me you had another brother. I thought you were out of brothers by now. No, we still got another brother. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I shelled corn for a guy over by Mason City. So he got me over a shell of the corn, and then he gave me these two A John Deere's for shelling the corn. Oh, no kidding. So that was the other John Deere A, which was the 1950 A, too. Yeah. So that came from a neighbor then from yeah. when you were over at Mason City. Yep. Now that's part of kind of a fleet of equipment you have on your collection here. And what's kind of neat about this collection is it's out by the road, or all in a kind of a platform you built by the road for people to come by and see. Uh, well, this would be a steep hillside, and this was, they cleaned the road ditch out, and I made them haul all the dirt up here so I could make this. Oh, my God. And then I had a landscaper come and put the wall in. And so this is something where people just stop by and take a look at your collection. Yeah, they come, they come every week. They either stop down by the road or take pictures, or 
I motion will come up and then they're, they, uh, I got a guest book that they can sign that they seen the tractors. There's a lot of guys that work for John Deere come up here retired to see these old, the old tractors. Well, for more information about Carol Etchen's fleet of John Deere A tractors and other Aegis Iron Feature tractors, go to agriculture.com slash TV. Hi, I'm Dave Mowitz. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, hit subscribe right here if you haven't already, and click that little bell right here to be notified when we post a new video. And click here to see more great videos.